Now, as painful as narcissistic abuse is, it has purpose in your life. And the purpose of narcissistic abuse and toxic relationships is causation. And the causation of narcissism and narcissistic abuse is to challenge you to make some decisions about who you are in this life. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, this is a difficult message. And the reason is because I'm going to get into this understanding and the principle and the idea that evil is necessary, that darkness is necessary. You know, one of the things I find interesting as I look at the ancient literature of the Bible is that evil has always been a part of this world. Darkness was, as a matter of fact, here first, according to the ancient literature. And it's because of the darkness, it's because of the absence, it's because of the void if you will, in this life. And by the way, narcissism and narcissistic abuse is a result of a void in people's lives. It is the absence of goodness. It is the absence of patience. It is the absence of empathy. Is it not? This is what narcissism is. And so when we look at the ancient literature of the Bible, the ancient people were trying to give us this message that the absence always existed first. The absence of things existed before the response to absence. Let's check this out and take a look. In the beginning of our story, when the earth was created, it said that the Spirit of God hovered over the surface of the deep, and the deep of the world was dark and void and chaotic. This is narcissism. This is abuse, if you will. This is chaos. And so as a result, we have the causation here. The result, the, the, this, this darkness was the causation for what? God said, well, let there be light. So light became the answer to darkness. And now watch this, God called the light good. So he defined the difference. And so you have two complete opposites. You have the darkness, you have the wickedness, the evil, if you will. And you have, which is a causation, and you have the response, which is light, which God calls good. And now this right here is the foundation for everything on this planet. For everything that we come across, there is causation. Because you cannot have daytime unless it is a response to nighttime, right? There's no day without night, right? Bad is the causation for good. Do you follow me? Darkness is the causation for light. And so when we talk about narcissistic abuse and what you've experienced, what you've experienced is touching this, this evil, touching this darkness. And this becomes a causation in your life. For what? So that you could be the opposite of that. So that you can make some decisions because you don't have to decide to get out of the situation. You don't have to decide to be the opposite of it. You could choose to stay and fight, right? But nonetheless, the causation, the differences exist. There's narcissistic abuse and there's non-narcissistic abuse. Should you choose to fight with narcissists, you are pressing in towards the narcissistic abuse side, towards the darkness, if you will right? The opposite of that is recognizing what you've touched by being involved with a narcissistically abusive person. I want you to imagine a farmer who sets up an electric fence around his property and his belongings, right? This electric fence exists so that the property owners, the, the, the farmer's animals don't go beyond that fence. They go to the fence, they touch it, it zaps them. Well, in your life, you have been founded, if you will. Your life is owned, if you will, by principles, values, and morals. Who gave you these principles and values and morals, by the way? I believe it's God above. And so he set 
the perimeter around you, the boundaries, with an electric fence, if you will. Narcissistic abuse represents that electric fence. You started to wander off when you met the narcissist. You saw something on the opposite side of the fence. You saw that darkness, whatever that world offered. And make no mistake about it, we get lured into abusive relationships because we see something that looks different than what we're used to on our side of the fence. We're used to goodness. We're used to these values and morals. And what we see is a different way of living. And we say, oh, wow, that looks kind of interesting, right? Where there's a lot of weird things going on. And so we get closer. And then when we're touched by narcissistic abuse, it's like hitting that electric fence. Yikes. It hurts. Heart stops. You get scarred. Maybe even fall over and pass out. All kinds of stuff. Bad things happen from touching that electric fence. Okay? And so we're challenged now because you can stay here in this place near the electric fence and you can try to figure out how to get over into the narcissistic abuse side. You can try to figure out how to win in that different world over there. You can understand that there is a clear boundary that you are called to live possibly in the response to narcissism. And if you are called to live a life in response to the narcissism, then you cannot be over in the narcissistic abuse side. You've got to stop playing over there. You've got to stop trying to fit in with them. You've got to stop trying to change them and instead deal with living in the response side. And now in the response side, this is where you grow and you learn and you become more educated and more aware of what's on the other side of that fence. Now, there are two sides. We live in a time of division. And yes, there always has been division of good and evil, light and darkness ever since the ancient days. One of the things that's, that's fascinating about the ancient literature of the Bible is that they did not complain about this. They understood it. You will not see that the ancient Hebrew people or ancient pe people in general complained about the existence of evil and darkness. They understood that it's just a necessary part. Book of Deuteronomy, one of the ancient... Uh, reading says that God proclaims, I am the God of dark and of light, of good and of evil. God has established both in a balance. And so God then instructs his people as he instructs you and me, choose life so that you and your descendants may live. He's saying, don't go too close to that fence. You will get zapped. If you start to go over that fence and once you're zapped, you have a choice. You realize it's painful. You could push through and jump that fence and go live a life in darkness. And what comes, comes. Or you can understand you got too close to that electric fence. You got too close to the outside where you don't belong. And you go back in towards where you belong. Right? And you could also spend your life on the fence in that gray area. Revelations tells us this. How I wish you were either hot or cold. But since you decided neither to be hot or cold, you didn't want to belong where I put you. And you also didn't want to belong fully over here in, in, in this other area. So I spewed you out. I vomited you out because you belonged. You didn't make a choice at all. Listen, the purpose of narcissistic abuse is for you to make a choice about who you are. Become founded in your principles and in your morals. Learn who you are. Discover yourself and gravitate towards your chosen family, your chosen community, the people who are supportive and who will resonate with you and who will move with you and who you can serve and who will serve you as well. Stay away from the electric fence of narcissism. Do not be intrigued by the darkness that's on the other side or by the lifestyle that is lived with narcissists. Do not be intrigued by that one bit. Stay on your side of the fence. I wanna be a part of your healing journey. Down below, you'll find access to one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. We could have a FaceTime or a WhatsApp video coaching session. We could also have a telephone uh, coaching session. You could also request a video if you would like to do that as well. The links are in the description box. Every Monday night is Royal We Live Chat. We come together as a community, as a chosen family, ask questions, answer questions, and you can call me for free as long as you understand that it is a live show. Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship. This is an all-new in-depth Bible study where we are exploring the ancient literature of the Bible and applying it to our understanding that the world is toxic and narcissistic. It's unlike any Bible study you have been a part of. This is every Saturday morning, every Shabbat at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
You can find links to these channels and much more down below. So head on down there.